All right, our next speaker, Cindy Heider Caleb, helps people in the throes of job change. Cindy's a close personal friend of mine. I like to call her Cindy Heider for the job seeker. Tonight's talk will be an introvert's guide to networking. Is this for IT people? Because a lot of IT people are introverts and they know a lot about networking. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Career and Life Options, here's Cindy Heider Caliph with How to Eat a Blowfish, an introvert's guide to networking. you to imagine yourself at a busy Tokyo restaurant. You are kneeling on a rice straw mat and there is a soji wood screen giving you an aura of privacy. You're looking at a menu. Try and decide what to order, maybe? Are you prepared? Last year you went bungee jumping. The year before that you went skydiving. And now your cousin Dave has dared you to eat a plate of blowfish. It's supposed to be kind of tender and juicy, but if it's prepared wrong, it'll kill you. <laughs> Facing the fear of eating a plate of blowfish is not unlike the fear that any of us feel when we enter a chamber after hours of bed to network. <laughs> this is especially true if you're an introvert. Now, I have, a lot of, I have a lot of good friends who are introverts, and they are intelligent, they're purposeful, they're reflective. But, you know, sometimes they don't give themselves a break. One of my introvert friends said recently, when I knock on the door to try to find my inner extrovert, nobody is home. An introvert will never be an extrovert. Here are some differences. An introvert thinks to talk. They're reflective. An extrovert talks to think. They're verbal. An introvert goes deep. They are, again, they are reflective and they're very focused. An extrovert goes wide. They're very expansive. An introvert energizes by themselves. They're self-reliant. An extrovert they energize with other people. They're very social. Now, how does an introvert take advantage of these characteristics to be the stealth networkers that destiny invites? Here are three blowfish busting techniques that introverts use and extroverts envy. The first one is be a sleuth. Introverts out there, you are so good at picking up on people's nonverbal cues. You ask those deep questions. Here are a few of those that I hear you say. Tell me more about your job. It's interesting about your company. Share more about that. Tell me about some interesting projects that you're working on. And also you can say, could you join me at the hors d'oeuvre table? Another tip that is, another blowfish tip that is very important is to be helpful. Introverts, you have so many good tips on how to do cooking better, automotive repair, networking. You have great quotes, you have interesting inspirational stories. Sharing them reinforces your networking. Huh. I'm going to give you an example. Bob was at a convention and he was networking. He wanted to be a human services professional, but people got to know him first because he shared his grandmother's marinara recipe. <laughs> it's not, when it comes down to it, it is not whether you are outgoing or whether you sh are shy that makes you a good networker, but it is, it is really whether you are willing to be known to be a resource for other people. And the third blowfish busting technique is be a closer. Introverts, you know this. It's important to get in and to get out to preserve your energy. Here are a few things that you do to end conversations that all of us need to think about. First of all, hey, can I have your business card? 
Next, thank you, it was very nice meeting you. And third, I think I'll take a break right now. It's important to get in and to get out to start to, to finish energizing so you can do it all over again. Whenever you go to a networking event and face that fear that the next step you take, you're going to die a slow death, any of this prepares you to go and eat a plate of blowfish. Bon appetit. Yeah.